guys. Let's get some top water going. Let's see what we can do here. I uh, haven't fished top water too many times at this spot. When I do, I haven't had success. <laughs> so, really hoping that we can get this thing rocking and rolling. There we go. <laughs> that was a fun little strike, guys. I thought I saw him playing there. Oh, that was a fun little strike. First fish on a top on top water at this place ever. That's a nice fish, guys. Two and a half pounds, not bad at all. So, yeah, it's, um, sadly, it is jig time and Texas rate time already. It is, that's a big bass right there. Okay. It is ridiculously hot already. I have a feeling that we're just gonna have to do straight text straight around here. There we go. Can't tell. Can't tell still. Looks decent. Yeah, it is decent. All right. Whew. That's actually a good fish, guys. All right. Sometimes you gotta get them out, guys. Sometimes you gotta get them out of there. All right. So let's talk about what we're using here. So got a little uh, jig on. I think the rattle trap, yeah, it fell off. Um, got a jig on, and then we got the um, wobble craw from 13 Fishing as a trailer. But that's a solid fish, guys. Got, got cabbage hanging from his mouth and everything else. It's a good looking fish, guys. Digging it. All right, let's get her out of here. See you, buddy. Not a bad one, guys. Not a bad one at all. <clears throat> all right. Not a bad one. All right, definitely one of the jig, guys. On the uh, 13 fishing wobble craw. It's a nice fish. Pretty long, solid three pounder. Let's get a good release on her. Ow. Okay, see you later, buddy. Okay, all right. All right, at least it's got a picture. All right, bye.
right guys what's happening hey welcome back to another episode here's the plan guys so we're gonna go we got a deep diver tied on we've got a texas rig rattle trap and i got a chatterbait tied on uh been extremely hot no rain we're gonna see what we can do um i failed the other day by throwing a glide bait and trying to catch something and yeah it was just extremely hot guys that's what that's what we've been dealing with for the past like two weeks here in florida um i mean usually it's always pretty warm in florida right but i mean you're talking heat index of like 104 105 106 degrees every single day so let's see what we can do we're gonna fish the evening uh, we had a decent day in the morning the other day uh and then it got too hot too quick anyway guys stick with me let's see if we can bring a monster up from the deep all right guys I'm going to be throwing a new lure that 13 Fishing is releasing. It's a deep diver. It's called the Troll Hunter. Got to check it out, guys. Also, remember, Aqua Soldier Outdoor, guys. You guys are going to want to get their gear. It is a great company. It's growing every day. And the gear is sick. All right. See you guys out there. I promised you that I was going to show you these new baits real quick. Uh, look at this. So, 13 Fish is coming out with a uh, glide bait. Glidesdale, 185, it's uh, <clears throat> six and two thirds inches and 2.5 ounces. Uh, yeah, this this is gonna get eaten, guys. I can guarantee it. Um, got the Troll Hunter, a little deep diver. This one dives like, you know, 20 plus feet. Uh, this, is a, this is a big diver. Uh, it looks juicy. We got a whole bunch of different colors of this and, uh, and different sizes. Let's see, uh, yeah, same size. Uh, different one different color navigator uh it's a new walking bait from 13 fishing it's kind of like the dual pitch a little bit smaller and just just a little different it's got um the multiple rattles instead of just the two big balls um i threw this not this one already but i got a different color threw it already and it moves awesome let's see a popper it's like the thing is called like the poppy mcpop pop face <laughs> uh, i got a whole bunch of frogs uh, here's another troll hunter this is the smaller smaller diver dream gill color <clears throat> once again another troll hunter the diablo or el diablo so this is obviously like the the magic man's little brother um, this is just the half ounce they actually do have the three quarters ounce which i would probably throw the three quarters ounce for me <clears throat> let's see what else we got in here okay uh warthog so this is the smaller warthog i've got also a 70 but this one is a half an ounce and the other one's three quarters ounce i think but yeah it's like a um it's like a fatter square bill so it's kind of thick all the way down flatty daddy so a flat sided crankbait almost like it you know let's see what else we got oh we got some more troll hunters another el diablo another troll hunter another frog trash panda this is a walking one not the popping one um smaller version of uh of the navigator the uh 94 <clears throat> juice looking bluegill some juice looking plastics guys and these things stink so i know they're gonna work i have some other smaller ones i got from them and they hammer fish another warthog and troll hunter and trash panda all right guys so we're gonna start off with the uh the rattle trap all the winds blowing down here i was going to go to a different spot i mean number one i've been having success right down here but uh, i was going to go to a different spot throw the deep dive around and uh but all the wind is blowing right down here so i figure all the fish and bait and everything else are getting blown down here well let's hope anyway right We 
little one. If it is one, yeah. And he's fighting, but it's definitely not big. <clears throat> Hasn't came up yet. Holy crap! Mother of all bluegales. Oh my gosh! That is huge! This is the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. Oh my gosh! Just imagine a bass eating that. I've caught one out of here that can eat it. <laughs> Guys, look at this slab. That's a big, big freaking bluegill. It's almost like a bluegill tilapia mix. This is an absolute freaking slab. Don't flop. Guys, that thing's huge. All right, let's get her back. <clears throat> that is a huge bluegill. No joke. All right, buddy. Gone. All right, guys. Last attempt at uh, actually catching a bass tonight. This is awful. There we go. There we go. Finally, guys. Guys, this is a decent one, too. Yeah. Oh, get up here. Oh. oh. That might that's a big four. That's a big four, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's a four. Jeez Louise, that took freaking forever. All right, all right, I'm gonna say this is a four. That's a good fish. All right, all right, I'm a little bit off. It's a little bit shy of four. That was a good fish, 314. Three pounds, 14 ounces. I can live with that, guys. See you, big girl. It's a good one. There we go. A little one. All of a sudden I felt it get heavy. <laughs> See you, buddy. There we go. Not a little one. Not a little one. He's pulling good, though. He's definitely pulling good. Dude's fighting. This is bigger than the last one for sure. Another one. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, as I said, it was going to be a grind. I knew it was going to be a grind, and it really was. Um, caught a decent fish at the end, three pounds, 14 ounces, but I did catch my biggest bluegill ever, and that thing was huge. All right, let's go back to the bar and have a drink, guys. <laughs> that was a fun little strike, guys. I thought I saw him playing there. That's a nice fish, guys. Alright, guys. Welcome back. Well, that was a grind. I told you, if we had to get a drink, I was thirsty. Uh, I probably lost about, I don't know, two quarts of fluid. Just sweat my butt off out there. Um, it was an absolute grind, guys. It has been a grind for the past, I don't know, the entire last week of June into this first week of July. It's just so hot. I mean, I am changing up everything. I mean, I went out there with five different uh, rods tonight and five different setups, and I did not get bit until mm, 
well by a bass until probably about 10 minutes before the sunset so it was it was pretty crazy guys um but the good news is is that we did hook up with some fish and i caught the biggest bluegill i've ever caught in my life i mean it was literally hanging over my hand like this I and mean, let's just just for example this reel on my hand it was hanging over my hand and then it was all the way down to my wrist right there it was ridiculous anyway speak of this uh concept txz guys Giveaway 500 subscribers. We're almost to 400 subscribers right now. So let's get this done, guys. Let's get it done. Let's get to 500 subscribers so I can give this beautiful reel away. Otherwise, it's just kind of sitting here in this box and it's lonely. It needs to put in some work. It needs to catch some fish. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, uh, the uh, drink of choice tonight is Horse Soldier Bourbon. If you guys haven't had it, you guys pick it up. As long as you're over 21, right? Pick it up. Try it out. I guarantee you guys will like it. Uh, make some mean old-fashioned with it, too. Also, big shout out to Aqua Soldier, Aqua Soldier Outdoors, guys. I'm going to put the link down in the bio. Go over to their website. Go over to their Instagram. Give them a follow on Instagram. It's veteran-owned business. And you guys know how I support veteran-owned business, businesses. Um, I really, you know, that's kind of where my heart is and everything else. And then obviously, you know, with a company like 13 Fishing that is beyond loyal to their customers, guys, uh, you got to support them as well. Anyway, guys, cheers. Hope you guys have a great week. Uh, stay safe. I guess you have to wear a mask and wash your hands now, and I don't know. I'm kind of tired of this coronavirus thing, guys, to be honest. I think it's kind of a farce. Cheers, anyway. There she goes. Yes.